Oh, look at this old solar panel. And this is the problem. I don't know if you can see that I think that this cell is burned out. So today I am going to try to repair this. <laughs> People say that this is not possible to repair because it is uh, basically hard to open and I'm not sure but at least I'm going to try to repair it. Oh yeah, here you can see maybe in this, as you can see it is something wrong with this one. Ah, it's cracked. Yeah, this one is cracked. So yeah, here I can see there is some sort of crack, if you can, I don't know, on camera you probably can see from here, 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 and because of this, this is probably shorting out panel or I don't know, because it looks like it was heating, it's a little bit dark. So, how to do it? It is easy because as you can see here all of them are in series here is connection and basically this is connecting to the top and coming from the bottom to the top of another and again from the bottom on this one to the top of this one and from the bottom of this one to the top of this one so I basically need to connect this connection and short it to the uh, from the bottom to the top to this top okay now I'm going to measure what's the voltage from this solar panel and what's the Amperage. I think that this multimeter should withstand, but I think that I maybe damaged it last time with my experiments. So I will see if it will measure something. And this is Gloria solar panel, and it should have 37 volts with open circuit and short circuit 8.5 amps. So I should be able to measure something. Yeah, so I should be able to measure with this weather and this sun about 35 volts and maybe 5 amps at least. For measuring amps I have to cover it at first because it will be quite big stress for my multimeter. So after connecting multimeter I will open it for short short while and cover it back. Okay, so it is not that bad. Uh, it should should be 37 volts, 8.5 amps and I have 33 volts, 6 amps. So I thought it would be worst but uh, with connection to this panel this panel will heat up so i am going anyway to try to repair this cell or not repair but uh, take it out of circuit basically short it out
okay now I know where the cell is and I am going to try here is the connections so I'm going to try to cut little opening here little bit bigger and so I can basically short it together here and here and I will see if I will be able to because I don't want to open this whole area but I will see how it will go So I here go got the leads. It was quite easy. This was just a little bit of plastic and it is like silicone or something like this. It is it, surprisingly easy. Now I'm going to short out these two leads, simply connect it together with soldering and that should be it. So this is it, it's simple short of this cell and now I basically removed it after of, uh, working this solar cell. So I can leave it like this, now just a little bit of silicone to cover it for moisture not going in and this solar panel should be working fine, little bit less voltage and amperage but it should be working. So this should be fine for a few years until silicon will go off. Now I'm going to check if there is any difference at all. So new measurement is 33.9 volts, it was 33 before and 5.9, 5 or 6, 6 amps but it is really hard to tell because sun is not shining the same. As you can see I can saw there are some clouds so this is very very independent. Okay at least this cell this damage cell should be out of working order and now it should work without this cell. So it will have a little bit less power but it should be absolutely fine to use for some homemade experiments or something like this. I would not recommend to use it on a house but for some smaller projects, small experiments it should be fine. So this is it for now. I don't have exact use for this solar panel, just it is working now and I can use it for some sort of small project or experiments. So thank you for watching. If you like my video, please consider subscribing to my channel and have a nice day.